Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a sleek, shiny refrigerator type logo. The font I used is called Air Conditioner. If you'd like to use it for your logo, you can download it in the link I provided located in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do it. I provided that link as well. Create a new document by going to File and New. We'll make the width 1280 pixels and the height 720. The resolution is 150 pixels per inch. Open your gradient tool and make sure the linear gradient icon is highlighted. The mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Click on the gradient thumbnail to open the gradient editor. Click on the lower left stop, click on the color box, and type in 15% for brightness. Click on the lower right stop and slide it to the middle. The location should be 50%. Click on the lower right of the bar to add another stop. We'll make this 25% brightness, then close all the windows. Go to the bottom of your document, press and hold Shift as you drag up to the top, then Release. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 8%, Gaussian and monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. We'll make the angle 0 and the distance 30 pixels. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Click on the Radial Gradient icon, go to the center of your document, drag across to the right edge, and release. We need to invert it so press Control i on a PC or Command i on a Mac. Change the blend mode to subtract and reduce the opacity to 22 percent. Open your type tool and choose a font. As I mentioned earlier I'm using air conditioner with a point size of 70, crisp for the anti-aliasing mode, and center text. Type out your words. To center it on your document, open your rectangular marquee tool and drag a selection across your entire document. Open your move tool and click on the align horizontal centers icon and the align vertical centers. Then press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. Reduce the fill to zero. Click on the FX button and choose Bevel and Emboss. Make the style Outer Bevel, the Technique Smooth, the Depth 195 percent, the Direction Down, and the Size 10 pixels. Uncheck Global Light and make the Angle 139 degrees and the Altitude 42. Make the Gloss Contour Ring, the Highlight Opacity a hundred percent and the shadow opacity sixty eight percent. Check contour. Click on outer glow and click on the color box. Choose white and make the blend mode difference. The opacity is seventy five percent and the size is eighteen pixels. Click on drop shadow. The blend mode is multiply the opacity is 10 percent, the distance is 16 pixels, the spread is 56 percent, and the size is 7 pixels. Then click OK. We're ready to make the shape that surrounds our logo type. Make a new layer and we'll name it Shape. Open your rounded rectangle tool and choose Path. Click on the Path Operations icon and pick Combine Shapes. Click on the Gear icon and pick Unconstrained. We'll make the radius 100 pixels. If your logo has more than two lines, drag out a shape that surrounds your top and bottom lines. To reposition the shape, press and hold the space bar and then move it. Drag out a shape around the middle line right click directly on a path and click Make Selection. 
we'll keep the feather radius at 0 pixels. Go to Edit and Stroke. We'll stroke it by 20 pixels. For this example, I'll choose Outside. Don't be concerned with the color. Center your shape just like you did for your text. Remember to delete your selection. Open your Layers panel and reduce the fill to zero. Let's copy the effects from your text to your shape. To do this, make your text layer active and press and hold Control plus Alt on a PC or Command plus Option on a Mac as you drag the FX icon to your shape. Double click on Bevel and Emboss and change the direction to Up and the glass contour to Double Ring. The last step is to give our logo a streak of light on its surface. Control click or command click on the shape to make a selection of it. Then go to your text and press Control or Command plus Shift to add its selection. Make a new layer and click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the new empty layer. Click on the empty layer and press the Z key to open your zoom tool. Press Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac to zoom out. Open your brush tool and make the brush tip between 200 to 300 pixels, normal and 100% opacity. Press X to invert your foreground and background colors and brush a diagonal line across your logo. Press Control or Command 0 to fit your image back on your screen. Then change the blend mode to overlay. Have fun making your own sleek metallic logo like the kinds you see on high-end refrigerators. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.